Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can uh, find which are the users who is releasing a purchase order or something in a standard workflow template. This is not a flexible workflow, this is the standard workflow and so it will be available in S4HANA as well as ECC6. Okay, so here this is the workflow template for purchase order and you go to display and you go to workflow builder. Okay, and you, I was in PFTC before and I gave the number. So here you can see release of purchase order. And if you notice here, the agents are blank. So you might be thinking where it's coming from. So whenever you have most of the standard tasks like this, which starts with anything other than two, anything other than nine is a standard. Rule. Okay, so if you click on it, you have to go to default rules. And here you will have a rule. The rule is stored in the transaction PFAC, that's transaction code. So you can double click on it or I'll show you, you can just select this PFAC. I'll open another session so that you know, you will also know, come to know about a new transaction, PFAC underscore DIS. Once you click on it, here you can see there's a function mode. Double click on this function model and there you will be a function exit that you can implement. So that you can put your custom code, custom tables, whatever you have into that. So in here if you see, if you scroll down, we call customer function. Here it is, you can see user exit written. And here if you double click on it, since this has not been created, you can just click on it. And the moment I double click on it, I click on it. Again, warning message, if you don't get afraid, you can create your own code. Okay. So this is the way 90% of the companies that have a purchase order workflow they generally use this task okay if they are using a standard workflow okay most of the other times they use a custom workflow where you have decision task and all those things so this is the way you can check what is the rule related to purchase order release so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a